Okay, now since this is a complicated topic, I think it's a good idea to go over some commonly given but very incorrect explanations. So the first one is the equal transit time theory. So some people, uh, the way they explain this is the way they the way they account for the air moving faster over the upper surface is by saying that when the air particles diverge and some go over the upper surface and some go over the lower surface they're forced to meet up at the same point at the trailing edge of the airfoil so because they're forced to meet up at the same point at the end at the trailing edge of the airfoil and since there's a greater distance to travel over the upper surface therefore the air that moves over the upper surface has to move faster in order to meet up with the air moving over the lower surface this is completely wrong i for i what i hope are some obvious reasons um first of all the natural question to ask would be why why do these particles or these air molecules have to meet up at the end the answer is they do not uh, not only do they not have to but they don't uh, if you if you look at any wind tunnel test or uh, mathematical simulation the air that moves over the upper surface gets past the airfoil before the air moves before the air that's moving underneath the lower surface so the air particles do not meet up at the end and i don't really know why this is this is even out there to be honest but um i've even seen this in certain test press test prep books which i'm quite surprised about but uh this is completely wrong um it does not move faster the air does not move faster over the upper surface because it has a greater distance to travel because there's no reason that these air particles have to meet up at the end and these air particles do not meet up at the end in fact so this is wrong uh and it's easily disproven by looking at any any wind tunnel test you could just go on youtube um so uh, please do not let anyone tell you this the second one uh is the the skipping stone theory we can call it and this is more of an incorrect application of newton's third law newton's third law of course says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction okay so basically the way people explain this is that when the air the air ricochets off the bottom of the airfoil and when it ricochets there's an equal and opposite upward reaction so the air sort of pushes the airfoil up and that's not how a fluid behaves remember uh, we said that a fluid flows together as a whole so uh it's not the air, air air particles are not ricocheting off the bottom they're being directed downward and that downward direction has an equal and opposite upward reaction 